Hi Cancer, I hope you're all doing well. We're gonna get into your general reading and see what Spirit wants to talk to you about today. These are general, timeless messages. Whenever you come across this reading, it could be for you. If you're new here, welcome. You are so welcome here. This is 13 Moon Tarot. My name is Andy. If you're returning, thank you Cancer for all your loving support. It's truly appreciated. I'm very touched by all your comments, all your kind words, and just the good energy you send me. All right, Cancer, speaking about energy, <laughs> I did a pre-shuffle here. I'm using this Oracle deck, Poesis. I'm going to pull some more cards from it. But as I was shuffling, I was trying to tune in, tap into your energy a little bit more. And I might just ask, you know, hey, Spirit, want to give me a sneak peek on Cancer's energy before I turn the camera on? And yeah, I got a message here. Uh, we have play, rage, and trigger. And I find this interesting because I was channeling some messages for you this morning when I was having my morning coffee. Uh, I have a whole bunch actually. But what was sticking out to me is someone is all hiss and no scratch. So maybe you're dealing with a Leo, it doesn't have to be, or somebody in, in the public I'm hearing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, but there's somebody here who might be triggering you and you need to know that, well, there's no danger. You know, you're not in any kind of danger. Um, I'm, I'm also got the message getting off the crazy train. <laughs> okay, so I feel like there's been some kind of influence, some situation in your life uh, that hasn't been really feeling good for you. Okay, um, and then I was also hearing a countdown. I don't know what that's about but it sounded like something to do with New Year's Eve. So maybe that day's specific with you. I'm gonna get into the tarot, but I'm an intuitive reader. So these are intuitive messages, channeled messages for you. Um, I also got system-wide shutdown. I don't know, it seems like a metaphor for something. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave that there uh, with the channeled messages. And if uh, anything else comes through during the reading, uh, I'll let you know. The number 16 also could be significant for you. Okay. Let's get into it and see what's going on here for you, Cancer. Let's pull out a card to represent the energy supporting you. We have home. Well, you do rule the home. Happy new moon, by the way. It was in your sign. How did it go for you? Many of you know my Venus is in Cancer. I also have my MC in Cancer. Um, it was pretty good for me. It was pretty chill, actually. Uh, how did it affect you? I did spend a lot of time at home. I do feel like um, there was a little bit of a hermit energy I was tapping into. Something about uh, feeling safe and secure. Not out of a feeling of fear, but just out of a feeling of comfort might be important for you at this time. Just feeling comfortable. For some of you, it's in your own skin. For others of you, it's in your immediate surroundings. I don't know who this cat is that's hissing at you, but it seems to be significant. Oh yeah, I also had this right here. I'm seeing the little star I put here, asterisk. Uh, something with that, that could be sounding similar to a name I'm hearing, asterisk, I don't know. Someone wished you harm and you were able to ward them off. I know these sound like super ooh, messages, but we'll get into We'll go further. I don't feel any negative energy though with you. I, I don't feel like you have to be concerned. I just feel like these are maybe confirmation messages for you or to let you know what energy you've moved out of or, since the new moon. Mm -hmm. You warded somebody off here. I feel like it's kind of by keeping to yourself. It's not reacting to their hissing. Okay, maybe this is a friend. Uh, could be in love, could be work, could be any area of your life. Okay, let's see the challenge for Cancer. Trust, well, trust and love <laughs> and guide. Mm. Well, you don't trust somebody here with your heart. And this, again, could be in any situation. Yeah, which is probably why you're keeping to yourself. 
you could feel like somebody I, I care about or somebody who's supposed to be caring about me is actually creating some fears of distrust in this relationship, some chaos. And you might be wondering here, like, is it time to move on? Is it time to go somewhere else? Where am I being guided to? How does this relationship situation fit into the larger picture of my life? I feel like with the rage card coming out, there's something going on within this person, okay, that is obviously bothering them. And you're intuitively picking up on that. Now, they might be projecting that energy onto you or towards you maybe knowingly or unknowingly. For some of you, you had like a serious fight or some kind of nasty situation went down. For others of you, this is kind of like you're just catching a vibe. But whatever it is, it's not as a result of something you did. Now, maybe you said something to trigger the rage that already existed within this person, but Spirit wants you to know that this would have came out with this individual anyways, regardless of what you, you would have done. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about what's causing this for this person, the devil, mm -hmm, and the three of pentacles? This person feels misunderstood. This could be an aspect of yourself as well, so take it however. Mm hmm They feel like they're not being recognized in some aspect of their life. They know they self-sabotage, but they don't know how to get off of it. Get off of it. Interesting. Get off of it. Maybe I feel like that's something someone said in a fight. Get off of it. I don't know. I'm hearing that like yelling. <laughs> it's so strange, Cancer. Hopefully not. But this person is also very protective. Uh, but it's coming from a space of fear here. Okay, so Spirit wants to talk to you about this today. Um, maybe, well, yes, and then I also got the message here. Uh, you must thank yourself for getting through the fire. I feel like that's really important for you. I'm hearing Taurus right there, uh, the star. You got yourself through the fire and you have to thank yourself for that. I, I don't know what that means for everyone. Some of you could be having issues with a mother or a mother-in-law or an older woman in your life. Let's see what's going on here for cancers. Yeah, tell me the theme. The Seven of Cups. Well, I'm getting the question, where do I stand with this person? Now, maybe this is you asking or them. Let's get all the cards out. There's definitely some confusion that needs to be cleared up. And I feel like the confusion is stemming from somebody's behavior. Yeah, the hermit. Here wands. Hmm. I keep yeah. Okay, can I get some more cards up? Thank you. Okay, and, um how does Cancer feel about this person that we're talking about, Spirit? How does Cancer feel about this person? I'm hearing Thomas, uh, the Star, the Nine of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Whoa, this has been a little bit of a lesson for you, Ace of Wands. But it's about how to gain your independence and courage. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this roots back to childhood, or there's some long-standing relationship you have with this person. I don't know. There's, there's definitely some... It's, it's not tension, isn't it? Mm. Well, mistrust, let's just say that. There's some mistrust here in this relationship. It's been a, a tough go for you. It's been exhausting, okay? But I feel like you are very guided 
in this process, in this situation. This is part of your path to understand this person or this situation on a deeper level from a higher plane of consciousness. Working through this situation with this person is expanding. I saw expand. Yeah, expand right here. Courage. It's expanding your courage. You're learning how to stick up for yourself from a place that is uh, calm and collected. Now, Cancer, we all know <laughs> that when you feel attacked, you can get those pincers out and get a little snippy. Um, and I, I love, as many of you know, I have lots of Cancer friends and I love that about Cancer. Actually, I really kind of enjoy that unless it's directed towards me, <laughs> which it rarely is, thank God. But <laughs> um, I love that you have that uh, defense mechanism that you stand by, you know, you don't really question yourself in the moment about how you should protect yourself or what a person's intentions are towards you. But later on, when you're in your shell, you do, you do think about the actions, you rethink the situation, you rethink everybody's intentions towards you or towards one another. It plays out in your mind. Mm -hmm. And you start to wonder if you've been too aggressive or uh, why people don't understand why you react the way you do, I'm getting. Yeah. But this is part, this situation is part of learning how to protect yourself energetically, maybe emotionally, hopefully not physically, but if so, physically, uh, without having to pinch or hurt or harm or yeah, or um, I'm hearing engulf yourself in the flames, make the situation worse than it already is. You're learning how to stand up for yourself without doing any of that, okay? And this is a big thing for you. It's not easy to hold your composure in the face of the devil. Mm. It's not easy to hold your composure in the face of the devil. Yes, I feel like that's a message there that needs to be, <laughs> let that sink in because you have held your composure here. I feel guided to use some charms and then I'll read the rest of the cards, which are amazing. Uh, let's see, Cancer. We have G and O, so I'm seeing go. And then we have birthday. Perhaps this had something to do with your birthday. Um or cancer season that just passed. We have the infinity symbol. We have a little uh, charm here with a picture of a field. Like it uh, looks like a painting of some sort. Painting and drawing may be really useful for you. Cancer, you're usually a very creative person. Sometimes you don't even realize that you do have a talent until you try something out and you're like, holy shit, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> I feel like for a lot of you, it, it is something with um, drawing or photography or something visual. You have a unique perspective. You know, the crab moves sideways. You see things from a different plane, a different horizontal perspective. Interesting. So yeah, so I'm getting you have a wider vision of the future okay yeah some of you are can channel messages through drawing and then i'm seeing these little uh footprints here which is reminding me because i'm pic picturing you so much as a little cute crab on the beach <laughs> it's reminding me of that poem footsteps which is beautiful a beautiful poem so you're guided your angels are with you your guides are with you you're protected here um and with this card guide coming out and the star, I feel like really it's important to recognize that this person is less of a lion that's going to scratch you and maim you and bite you and more of a little kitten that feels scared and is hissing as a defense mechanism. Okay, so let's see your overall energy, the hermit. Well, this goes well with the home. I said I felt like I was in hermit energy. Yeah, so I feel like right now you're trying to figure out what's next for you. Not deal with people who upset you, okay? I feel like you're being very private about some things, your feelings or your thoughts or your plans maybe. I feel like you're embracing this lesson. Let's find out a little bit more for Cancer about the Hermit.
Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. Okay, so I was also pre-shuffling these white cards here because I was going to use them. Let's take them out. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. I was shuffling these and I saw, you know, one of the cards fell out and it said, keep it simple. And I thought, okay, I won't use these cards because they generally complicate a reading. Uh, but now I'm looking down at the bottom and I'm seeing keep it simple here on the paper. So perhaps we are meant to use this uh, deck, but this is a message for you too. I feel like in your interactions with this person, it's best to keep things simple. Okay, I feel like anything you give to them that is unneeded, your reaction, your response, um, even your help, if it's unneeded, will just be fuel to their fire. You know, it, it's just something that they can work with in order to create, create just um, negativity, really. Okay. The divine and right. Okay, let's see what else. Let's get a couple more spare. What do you want to say from here? Communication. Whoa. Damn. Okay. Progress, not perfection. Communication. And we'll get a couple more and I'll pick that up off the floor. Uh oh, I'm seeing father. Maybe this is about a father. Oh, I also had a message here. <laughs> Spirit's like, read your channel messages. What are you doing? Okay. I also had the message here. Nickname your father used to call you. Is there a nickname your father used to call you? Something about tarot, confession, bonded. Some of you might be looking for this person's confession via a tarot reading. You know how there's those readings out there, like this is what this person wants to confess to you, etc. Um, you might be holding on too strong to those messages. There might not be the message there that you that would be the best for you to hear or that is not useful for you. So I feel like, you know, take obviously any general reading with a grain of salt. I'm reading for a lot of energies here. Um, take what resonates. Information. Yeah. Hmm. Confession. What, ki what kind of confection? Con confection? Okay. What kind of confession are you looking for, Cancer? Confession about what? The Phoenix melting entanglement resolve it, it feels like you feel as though someone's trying to stop your healing or stop your growth or they'd rather not see you grow you know the phoenix rises from the ashes but here we've we've said that this person's you know very much in fire energy in a destructive way and I'm getting, I know how it sounds, but I'm getting the message. It's like you rather, you think that this person would like to see you melt <laughs> rather than fly and soar. And I do feel like there's this message here where you might feel as though you are entangled with this person until it's resolved. But the resolve comes from within you. It's not going to necessarily happen through a conversation with this person, through, you know, gaining information from an external source about this person. It happens from going within. That's how you resolve the feelings that are bothering you here. Figuring out what lesson this is for you. What are you supposed to be learning here? And what are you resisting? in this lesson. You know, most of the times we realize, okay, th damn, this is a lesson for me, but I'm clearly not showing up for the lesson or I'm resisting this part. Okay. Why are you resisting that part of the lesson? You know, maybe the lesson is to create boundaries, distance yourself from somebody who's hissing at you to, um, if somebody feels cornered or feels defensive, maybe give them some time, leave them alone, whatever the, I don't know what it is for you. I'm just kind of giving it random examples. Whatever it is for you, Spirit wants you to think about the larger picture of this situation. What are you learning here? What you don't see coming is the Page of Wands. Let's find out a little bit more for Cancer. What's the Page of Wands all about? I mean, this is a message or a spark of inspiration. Let's see. I'm hearing 
something somebody wants somebody wants you or wants something from you there's some energy you hold that somebody wants a piece of like oh i wish i could have that energy is how i'm feeling okay so kind of like an energy vampire i suppose or maybe it's like they just want to be in your company because you make them feel good nine of cups ace of pentacles page of swords it's falling out in reverse here I don't feel like this is the best kind of message coming through. Now, I do feel like this is a message here or a spark of an idea that somebody's having about moving towards you and trying to make something happen with you. This could be a job. This could be a, a reconciliation and a friendship. It could be in a love situation. But it's what I'm getting is this message coming through like, oh, Cancer, you're my wish fulfillment. We There's this new opportunity here. But the Page of Swords in reverse is like not clear. They're not clear about what they're saying or what they're doing. Their intentions are unclear, even to themselves. Okay, there's a lack of foresight here. There's no plan. Yeah, and the reason why I'm reading it in this way is because your opportunity is the, the magician and then the challenge is the high priestess. And I feel like this is spirit saying, um, well, to say to stay silent, which doesn't have to be in a literal way, like don't talk. It could be for you, but it's kind of just to s stay open. Hmm, hold on. Maybe there's a different message coming in here for different people. What am I supposed to say here? Peace. <laughs> Keep your peace, defender. Defend your peace. Thank you. <laughs> Defend your peace in the situation, okay? If you know that communicating with this person or following a lead, I'm hearing, is going to disrupt your peace, then set some boundaries, you know, stay away. Your opportunity here is to manifest something. On the down low, <laughs> on the down low. Hmm. Queen of Cups and the Sun, oh, self-love. <laughs> self-love, self-understanding, creativity again. The sun and the queen of cups, enlightenment, a fuller understanding of yourself and what, what you have to offer another, you know, you have a lot to offer somebody, a home, you know, and that home can be figurative. It doesn't have to be a literal home. It could just be someone feels like they're at home with you. Many people might feel that. I know I feel like that with my cancer friends and I'm a Taurus, so I dig that. You want to make a home? Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, cancer, you're really special I'm getting for whoever I'm talking to, okay? Again, not everybody here will resonate with this message and that's okay. But for whoever I'm tuning into, whatever collective of cancers, you're very special, okay? And that energy you have is well-earned and it's not to be given away to just anybody who hasn't learned their own lessons. When we when we uh, I'm hearing something like when we open up to those who don't deserve it, we do them a disservice because they get stuck on, on a karmic lifeline I'm getting not learning their lessons but finding comfort nonetheless yeah okay so it's like they have to repeat something the next lifetime or this lifetime and it will be harsher this time around i'm hearing yeah i feel like that's also a message for you somebody's about to undergo some kind of tough les lesson here uh but cancer what spirit wants you to do is and i know this might be challenging but wish them well don't wish anyone harm you know better than that right you do, you know, when we wish someone well, even if we've had a difficult situation with them, 
We send them positive energy towards them or maybe no energy at all, just neutral, <laughs> whatever it is. That's where our power lies. When we send negative energy or negative thoughts or negative emotions towards somebody, you know, um, we're bonding ourselves, courting ourselves to them via a, a tox toxic frequency. Okay. Um, the challenge, the high priestess, I feel like this is to do all this on the down low. You know, sometimes when we get that strength and we get, you know, feeling real good about like, damn, I'm finally standing up for ourselves. We could feel like, oh, we want to show this person how much we're going to stand up for ourselves and that we mean business and that you're not going to mess with me. <laughs> That's usually not effective <laughs> when you do that um, because it's a little bit of a persona or a mask that you're putting up. True strength is just the resolve of knowing you're strong. You know, it's just a, a quiet knowingness. It's not showboating your strength around town. Uh, something about social media and the internet and technology uh, being a distraction here. You know, proving how much you've healed or how much stronger you are via social media is not helping you. Okay? Not right now, at least. Okay, remember the hermit card. It's important that you feel that resolve within before you, uh, yeah, and then you will not need to outwardly express it. Okay, six of wands for your advice. This is to realize that you've had a massive victory, okay? And you can be public in your victories, but there's something about this particular situation that needs to be a little bit on the down low about your feelings or, you know, and, and it's not to hide anything or be secretive. It's just more of spirit saying, don't give your energy to somebody or something that is clearly triggered or triggering you. Nothing good's going to come out of that. You're just playing into, I'm hearing a cat and mouse game. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're above that. You're the owl here. You're above the cat and mouse game. You could catch both, right? Okay, so uh, share your public successes, but not necessarily about this. I hope that makes sense. Uh, like you can continue to help people in the public. Hmm. What are you saying here, Spirit, for the advice with the Six of Wands? Wheel of Fortune. Ah. Uh, Seven of Swords in reverse. Stop talking about moving into a new cycle and just move into it, <laughs> is what Spirit's saying. Just move into it. Just jump on the wheel and go. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like that might be for someone specific. There's something about like posting things about, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing, but <laughs> Spirit's saying it's not necessary. Okay, that's obviously not for everyone. Okay, uh, what's going to manifest in the next three months? We have the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful. So you're going from the Page of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. This is a sense of security. This is resolve. This is knowing what's best for yourself. This is abundance, long-lasting abundance. And I feel like it is that calmer energy that you're getting into. It's an untouchable energy as well, Cancer. King of Pentacles. I'm so glad I pulled that. I was like, should I? Yes, Queen and King of Pentacles. This could be a connection, of course. And if it is a connection with somebody, it's the connection. Queen and King of Pent Pentacles is long lasting because they have shared values and they do things together on the earthly realm to secure and cement their bond to one another, okay? They put down roots. They make things happen. And they do it from the heart space, I'm hearing. A grounded heart space, okay? And if you're already in a connection or you're not looking for that, this could be your divine masculine and feminine energies coming together in order to create security for you. This is beautiful, Cancer. 
Okay, I'm going to go into an extended reading. If you're interested in that, the link to that is in the description box below. In the extended, I go a layer deeper into this message, get more specific. There's less of you there. I'm going to tap into this devil energy a little bit more, see if there's anything else we need to know. I just got tingles up my left leg when I said that. All right, <laughs> but if this is where you go, I love you so much, Cancer, and I'll see you next time.